Hello, Ian. Hello, Hi. Fabio. <laughs> Um, I think we're just here to sort of carry on a little conversation um, about uh, mindfulness, our experience of mindfulness. And I know that um, your sort of first interest and in practice in meditation started uh, around 20 years ago. Yes, believe, yes, that's right. And um, that also you're an executive coach now and a non-executive director in the um, health sector mm -hmm. and also been a psychotherapist and counsellor for many years. Um, so in those sort of multiple experiences that you've had in areas of uh, work and so on. I wondered if you could um, just say a little bit about how mindfulness has really sort of benefited or affected you really in yeah. of those areas. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose if I span those years, I think there are some simple um, <laughs> elements that I can perhaps select to, to um, say more about, which is that I suppose one is about my own internal world, so in the different roles that I participate in, yeah. um, I find that I can clarify my thinking and be more present, um, having meditated and become more aware of my conditions and circumstances and how I respond to that. So it's almost like there's a split second more that I can, I've gained over the years about what arises within me in relation to the conditions I found myself in uh, and therefore how I respond. Mm -hmm. So that's something I've sort of heard all, all week and sometimes call an idea of having a sort of gap or a space mm -hmm. um, between our, our sort of responses and reactions to what's happened in the world around us. It sounds like that's sort of your experience there. You've got that uh, space really to have a more creative response. Yeah, that, that's very much so, so. And I think over time what starts to develop also is then my the insights that I can gain in that space about what arises, what information I get. So if I then look at how I apply mindfulness externally in relation to, say, a coaching client, I'm already aware of what, from what the client said, what my response has been internally, and then I can think a little more before I reflect back to the client mm -hmm. in a way that may help them to understand more clearly their own processes. Yeah, that sounds very beneficial. It sounds also something about um, a sort of qualities of communication and qualities of listening, maybe, that are around with mindfulness. That ability, I know I certainly found it a bit myself, that it allowed me to, um, again, to be a sort of aware of what was happening on a deeper level and to perhaps listen more closely or sort of respond uh, in, in a slightly different way. Yes, and, and as you say about li listening more closely, um, I think what we learn very quickly in meditation practices is to notice the chatter of the mind. Yeah, yeah. And if you can sort of just let that go and notice that, oh, there's my mind chattering away, I can then sort of park my attention towards the chatter mm -hmm. and increase my attention towards you or the person I'm listening mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to really hear at depth what is being said. And I think that's so important, whether it's within a business context where I'm in a meeting and I'm trying to negotiate or contribute to a developmental issue around a boardroom, or whether it's about a counselling therapeutic intervention where a client is bringing their own struggle and suffering. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, that sounds very, very good indeed. Yeah, thank you very thank much you. for that. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity.